my demons talking to me. Ay. He wanna be me, but fuck it, that ain't too easy. I cut him up like a leech. Yeah, bitch, I'm rolling on seaweed until I swap on my bed. She put the love on my life. These boys ain't hurting me yet, but now I'm fighting. Oh, what's going on guys? This is Zola coming at y'all showing you how to make it into the World Cup. Um, the best way to get points and I don't know how just to go about it. Um, here are educates right here, the arena details. If you get past all these, you'll be able to get into Champions League, which will increase like you have a chance of entering the World Cup. Um and here's the, basically the scoring right here. I'll just go through them real quick. And Let's go ahead and show y'all how to rotate around the map and stuff like that. You see, I have 195 points, and I have about, I think I have like 21 games played, or like 20 games played. Not probably, I probably have like 19. It's somewhere between 19 20 games played. And I have 195 points, and I think I have like 5 or 6 wins. Yeah, I have like 5 or 6 wins out of those matches, which isn't that bad, to be honest. And also... I got kills. I was able to get kills just like that. My highest game had, was a 10 kill. Then I had like a 6, 7 kill. And the other rest of them were like just 4 or 5 kill games that I, when I won. But yeah, this strategy is just about getting your points for less than the game. So we're going to take you to the map. Where to land and where not to land. So we're going to go ahead and get through it. I'm going to do what I, remember, what I remember. So basically, this plan, this strat that I'm showing you is just to get your points and get kills when you can. And see, I'm, I guess I'm pretty good at that. I mean, I got how I got decent kill games and stuff like that. And I'm able to the own late game and stuff. So, yeah, rotation lord. So, basically, this game plan is all based around movement and ballers. Um, what you do, Where your place you don't want to go, so you want to last long. You want to get your 25 points. So, you don't want to go Pleasant Park. So, circle that. That's off. Uh, actually, I'm going to exit. Okay, no Pleasant Park, no Tilted Towers, no the block because you don't want to rely on the block because it's constantly changing. No Lagoon because the loot, the, lo the loot is like, I don't really know, it's not the, it's not good for this type of stuff. Um, I wouldn't go Paradise Palms, it's too risky. Retail, basically everything with a name is too risky and Fatal Fields isn't really that good for something like this, so just mark that off. I wouldn't go Polar Peak, it, it BS happens up there. Um, now here, and definitely would not go Loot Lake. Because there's no not a lot of material, you're out in the open and stuff like that. And I don't really recommend um, landing lucky. So the rares are places I just wouldn't land at all. When you really think about landing, or and yeah, I mean that's really it for that. For that, I, I think of any other ones. Um, I really can't think of maybe Viking Hill actually. Maybe I, I think I had that on my thing. Viking Hill. So those are the places I wouldn't land. Now we're going to go into the places that are kind of a higher risk, but not as much as the places just don't land. So, Risky Reels. Risky Reels is a high risk place. It really is. Uh, Sunny Steps is. Um, let's see. Uh, Junk Junction actually is because people actually land there. You know, I won a game from there during this, but there people land there, so I don't land there, to be honest. I landed there one time and I actually went for there. I was like, what the hell? Uh, Haunted Hills. People want to go. People go to the place because they think no one's not gonna land there and stuff. So I just wouldn't go there. Snobby Shores can be a high risk place, so I wouldn't recommend that. And Shifty, you're surrounded by so many different ones, but it's better to go into Tilted or Polar Peak to be honest. And Salty. So like, you can rotate down if the circle allows it, but you won't really want to go there because it's all about rotation. Um, I would even go to the extent of Lonely Lodge being. High, kind of higher risk, but just not a definite. Don't go there. I, but yeah, high risk. Um, there's no movement here at Westworld, so if you get cucked by the storm, you're basically dead unless you can uh, use the quad crasher. But I'm gonna put that as orange, just because it's so much that they can go. People actually land there too. So, so we got that orange up th up here. Um, sh snobby, shifty, haunted, and junk connection. All right, now we're going to the places I think that are low, like low risk, and you can get decent study. Like if you can own the place. Oh, I for also forgot one, one more thing. Forgot to mark out Dusty. Dusty is, a, yeah, I wouldn't really recommend that. So now we're going to places that you can actually dominate. That it's low risk. I mean, like it's kind of low risk. Uh, but if you make it out, you're pretty set. I mean, yeah, you're basically set because there's rifts and stuff. Not rifts, but like the geysers. But let's go ahead and get to it. So. I'll say racetracks it was my place to land, but I decided that's not even the, the best spot to go to me anymore. You know, it, good spot, but not for... I won't, I do recommend it, but I'm not recommending it right anymore. Not right now. So, that's 
That right there is a yellow. Soccer field is a yellow. Uh, I'm going to say Frosty Flights because there's rotations. They're ballers. We'll get into that later, though. Happy Hamlet, I'm going to give that a yellow also. I'm going to also give a yellow to... Um, that's actually it, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure of. I think those are all my yellow places that I recommend, but don't recommend if you're definitely trying to get top, land top 25 and no one taking any risk. So now we're going to get to the places I think that are totally safe, or at least you have a 95% chance of making it out, and you don't have nothing to worry about. I'm going to move my phone. All right, so now here's the places that I land, and I'm going to show you why I land the places. The first two is the places that – actually, I'm going to put places that I think are, are good. Now I'll show you what I land at next, where I land at last. So, for me, what I think that are good, not places that I land, like, consistently, but what I think is good, if you don't want to land where I land, I would say right here is not bad. That's not a bad spot. It doesn't have rotation, but that spot, you're going to be very safe, and not, not people are going to contest there. And if you get looped down here, you can rotate down. You can come right into here and try to take over that if, you, if you're confident in your skills. I say right here is actually good. I know Chap. I think it's Chap lands here, uh, and he is actually a good spot. And I, like nobody really contests him while he's streaming too. So like it's pretty good. I actually think that this place right here is pretty safe. It's pretty easy to take over as long as you get there first. Uh, then I'm gonna say, or some other safe places. That's it. this right here is honestly not that bad. That's relatively safe to be honest. And then this right here is usually safe. And back here, surprisingly, right here is a really safe spot. Yeah, it has guides and stuff, all rotation up here. So you're like, you'll be pretty straight now. Hoverboards and there's chest spawns. And then uh, right here are some chest spawns. And you can get a decent amount of mats right there. Uh, yeah, that's really about it for that. Also, if you go, if you land junk. Uh, yeah, if you land junk, there's also ballers, but I like to do ballers last, like where baller rotations are, like for good, if you want to try to get the baller. Alright, so now we're going to the god tier spots. Actually, right here at bridge, it's be pretty safe. But here are the god tier spots, alright? You've been waiting for this, the god tier spots. I'm going to put them purple. I land here consistently, make, consistently make it top 15, and a decent amount I make it top 5, and then I've gotten 5 or 6 wins out of like 19, 20 games, which isn't that bad and something like this at my point. Um, and I'm able to get kills when I need it. So I'm going to say right here, if you land right here, it's a baller spawn. It's a baller, a baller spawn inside this building right here. It's a baller that spawns inside of that building. Um, if you get the baller, there's like three baller chances. And usually there's always one. Everywhere, both places I land are very consistent on ballers. And I recommend it. Really recommend it. So if you come right here, if the, you're lucky on storm, all this stuff is also if you're lucky on storm where you can rotate. So you can rotate right here. You can get some material and you can get like just chest two chest spawns here, just extra loot, and then you can rotate like right here. I think it's something like there, something like that. It's you'll see it's somewhere around here. Uh, it'd be like a little a little podium and it has a chest inside the middle if, if it get lucky and it spawns. And you can basically use the Geysers to get around too with a ball around here. There's geysers like different places around here. You can just rotate in or wherever you need to go to. And the second god tier spot, which I land here a lot too, I'll say right down. It's right there beside Frosty Flights, which I actually land Frosty Flights. If you land at the hangers right here, I'm at Frosty Flights. If you land at the hangers, get the ballers and rotate out to over here, or you can do this. You can take the ballers. If you don't want to land right right here, right here is the god tier spot though. Right here is the god tier spot. Bottom right above Happy. Hamlet, it's the god tier spot. Right here, house, 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 house. And you can also loot back here, and back here, if you can see where I'm marking, like all over. You can also loot part of Lucky Hamlet, and sometimes Lucky Hamlet's not even hit. You can get so much material over here. Brick, wood, metal, everything. This right here is probably my favorite place to land. It's very spread out, so you don't have to worry about people coming to try to kill you off rip. Um, and like, the method I was saying with the frosty flights, if you don't want to land uh, upper or main, you can land uh, hangers. And if you go hangers, you can rotate backwards. Like you rot if, if This is all if you have ballers. Though. All this is based, based around ballers. So you can come down here. 
You can rotate and get all the mats. You can come in here if it hadn't been looted, which usually this is not even really that looted. You can come get a few houses or something like that and just camp out in a storm. I mean, that's really it for the god tier spots. But I also got one more spot, which is actually it's risky reels. It's just thing about risky. I put it as orange, but really it could be about a yellow. Because there's ballers here too, so risky is a baller spawn. Right here's a baller spawn, so I won't mark that white. Baller spawn here. You have uh, a baller spawn here at Frosty Flights. You have a baller spawn. Where else? Where else? Where else? Over here, baller spawn. You have a baller spawn. You can't see. I'm gonna make this black. I'm gonna make this one black. You have a baller spawn like right here. Is a baller spawn? Why, right, Mark? Um, right here beside Shifty is a ball. Is a baller spawn I'm talking about. And then there's some more ball. Oh, there's also a baller spawn right here. If you land Happy Hamlet, I forgot to say. If you, if you land Happy, not Happy. If you land Happy, or if you don't really want to land Happy, but if you land over at the building, I'm talking about the Godhead spot. There's a baller spawn like around here somewhere it's somewhere where i'm marking the black ass right above hamlet over here it's like somewhere along here you'll see like this, the road you'll see a road and it has a chance of spawning two or three it has a chance of spawning like four ballers so hopefully you can snag one if it does spawn i mean this is all basically this is all in theory though if there's ballers you'll dominate and the what you want to do with the ballers is you don't want to really engage in gunfights you want to rotate around with the storm you can actually rotate later if you have a baller and you can just base this one this freaking turtle up with your baller go somewhere that has a lot of mats and keep breaking stuff and just replace it it's all about game sense too and knowledge of the game um but basically anybody can come do this method and get a decent amount of points just by doing this and keep doing it every game don't worry about kills you got to be patient all the players all the top players once the top players are there because they're patient and they wait for the kill and the dumb players, even if they're good, the dumb players will rush in and WK in somebody's box and die and don't get any points. So it's all about being smart. That's, it's really all about, it's all about IQ. This game sense, game knowledge. Uh, I don't know, stuff like that. But if you need to get a kill, you need, you, like, use your traps. Uh, you, like, focus, like, just focus. Get into the game. Make sure you hit your shots and you'll get points. You'll really get points. Uh, that's really about it. The purples, the two purple spots up here, up under Sunny, and down here, up here, up here, right above Hamlet. Those are the best places to land, in my opinion. And then, if you want to rotate from Frosty, land Hangers. If there's a, hopefully there's a baller there. Oh, one more thing. There's a baller spawn right here. I marked it in black. It's right above Hamlet. See, I'm marking it right now. Right here, the baller is baller spawns also. So, yeah. If I had to say anything. Um, just land the place that I, like, that I just said land at. I mean, I'll.